We've seen Blount County Sheriff's Office, Knox County Sheriff's Office, Alcoa PD, PD, among others, including some heavy equipment coming through this area. We've seen some large army type vehicles on the way over here as I was driving from Knoxville to the McGee Tyson Air Base along Alcoa Highway. I was passed by several Blount County Sheriff's officers going at a high rate of speed to this area when they arrived here on this air base road just to turn off before the air base. Uh, Tennessee State Troopers had the road blocked off. They have their long guns out along with uh, their standard issue vests on. This base is on lockdown, that's clear. We heard it on a PA announcement not that long ago from the base as law enforcement agencies from across this area continue to sweep uh, the base to investigate those reports of a suspicious person. Heather? I, I saw some traffic moving slowly, Heather, because people are, because the, you know, when emergency vehicles do go by with, uh, with the lights on, people do slow down. I will tell you, since I've arrived, we're in a little bit of a lull now for the first time since I got here about 15 or 20 minutes ago without major uh, law enforcement presence coming through, without people, uh, sheriff's officers, unmarked cars, lights on, driving through on this airbase road at a high rate of speed coming into the base, often stopping at the Tennessee State uh, Troopers at the front to ask where they need to go, where they need to be diverted and are directed into that base uh, as, as they continue to, to sweep to assure that there is no, no threat, as you heard the spokesperson say. I haven't heard anything from the airport yet. I can say I just saw a, a plane take off. It did not look like a commercial flight take off from the airport, but I can move this camera slightly and you can see the airport control tower not far away from where this base is. They share the runway here uh, at McGee Tyson. So you have to believe that if this base is on lockdown, passengers at the airport maybe looking this direction might see some of this law enforcement activity. But uh, from, our, from our perspective, it's just a, a large law enforcement presence. Another plane just taking off now, making it uh, appear as if the uh, airbase, uh, the airport, I should say, is operating as normal. This airbase on lockdown right now. I want to show you a little bit about what we're seeing here as you can see behind me here at the McGee Tyson Air Base We're starting to see uh, some more emergency vehicles including some big armored vehicles You can see about to go by here as the situation continues to develop um, Here's what we know right now uh, We know that earlier this morning there were reports of a suspicious person here on the base uh, the report came in that the suspicious person may have had a rifle. The base was locked down, and right now we know that there are multiple police agencies searching the area. We've seen Blount County Sheriff's Office, Knox County Sheriff's Office, Alcoa PD, as well as the Knoxville Police Department here on the scene and some heavy equipment. The base is on lockdown. A few minutes ago, we heard a uh, warning from uh, an overhead announcement, I should say, from some people from the base inter Sheriff's Office. 
office with some more vehicles uh, coming through right now into this area, into this air base. We should stress, this is the McGee Tyson Air Base. It is uh, just adjacent to the airport, but the airport, as we know, right, as far as we can tell right now, does not have anything, uh, any impacts there. I, I'll switch this camera around so you can really get a live view of what's going on right here behind me. This is the McGee Tyson Air Base here. Uh, just outside the airport in Knoxville and you could see the base here is on lockdown. We've gotten uh, It started this morning after reports of an uh, of a suspicious person on the base The person may have been carrying a rifle as that initial report came in Right now there are no confirmed reports of any kind of active shooting or anything like that But we can show you still more and more of these uh, Police emergency response vehicles coming in I could tell you on my drive over here this morning, I saw many, I saw, I was passed by several who were going at a high rate of speed into here. Um, and, uh,